Hello and welcome to another video. Int Woods. And I've been thinking about this for a long time because the weather hasn't been great in the UK. It's been pissing it down. It's been cold, so I've just been, my mind's been drifting towards the woods and I can feel autumn in the air. It's early, but it's there. So here I am in the woods for a night out and I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my light soon, so I better be quick prioritize what I've got to do and that is get a fire going, get the coals burnt down and cook myself some grub because I am starving. There's a couple of roots there so I'm just going to move the whole thing this way, see if we can avoid them roots. You're guaranteed that that's going to be pretty dry. So. That'll go on top of my flame when I get it going. Some dead clematis as well. That'll burn nice. Birch bark from the silver birch. You just scrape this top layer off till you get down to the orangey clob with the oils in it. And that'll create like a dust on the top of there, which should take a spark all being well. Normally I'd get bigger sections of this, but I'm in a bit of a rush to get fire going on that before it gets too dark. It's best to be like one and done and get yourself a big bit and spend some time getting a real big pile of dust. You can do it with just a little bit if you're lucky. I'm feeling lucky as well. Feeling lucky, but then you need some reet thin bits, some thin bits that'll catch. That's my fire steel, still rocking it. <laughs> I don't use it much because it is a, it's a loaf, but when I do, I appreciate it. The knife of choice for this trip, my trusty custom SE3, thanks to Luke at York Knife. Right. There we go. I'll be quick. Being careful not to smother it. Still leaving gaps for oxygen to get through. I'll put me little bits on there. There we go, I shouldn't lose that, happy days. My shelter of choice is the Gossamer Gear, the one Look how small that is for a tent. I've brought this because I just what I've got. I've carried a lot of stuff with me because I'm going to be doing some cooking. So this is the lightest and smallest tent I own by a long stretch. I didn't bring the trekking poles for it, so I'm going to have to cut a couple of bits of wood, which works just as well, and get that set up. Not too late fire because uh, one spark and this is gone. <laughs> It'll just evaporate and I'll just be left lying on the floor. Alright, innit? About there. So I can still see fire, but it's not going to get me. <laughs> Happy days. There she be. The top layer of pines is like that, so the pegs were just pulling out when I was putting my sticks up. Um, so I've used sticks as pegs and it's held well. Better than normal because I've been able to use big sticks either side because the guy lines on either side they go directly into the floor because your pegs are so small and it just sort of pulls them down and it doesn't really do much but because you can elevate them with these sticks it really does give you a lot more room inside let's have a wine give it let's get comfy el plonkio the plonkio there stay old right spot on have a little slurp in time. <laughs> you will you have a let's have a drink together, shall we? A, bo a bottle of rouge I've got. I'm not gonna drink it all, but I do fancy a glass of the red stuff. <laughs> this was sent to me by my good friends over at Wine 52. They send you a little booklet. 
with all the information of the different regions, the different wines, what they're doing. They give you some little snacks. I nerd out on what you I mean. You've seen me go on beers and that and <laughs> latches and locks. I get into stuff and I'm into wine. I have been for quite some time. I, I really enjoy a red. It's what me and Fern drink at home. So really lovely company to work with as well. So I'm going to try this. And then I'll, I'll have a look at book and see if I've got it right, shall I? From different regions. I think we're in Hungary this month. I mean, I say I'm just going to have a little glass. Watch me get... Let's have a go, shall we? Whew, that's robust. I got home and I was looking through the footage and, you know, I was saying, like, when I get into stuff, I'm really into stuff. And I feel like for the people who are out there who are into their wines, to see me pour it into a metal cup ain't good enough. So... Here's the paw. And there it, look at that. In oversized wine, there it is for size, look, nearly bigger than my head. Mm. So if you just go to www.wine52, that's 52.com forward slash Hayes in capitals, H-A-Z-E. You can get yourself a free case of wine. Also, there's no minimum commitment and you can pause or cancel any time after claiming your free case to join the wine club. I'm gonna keep showing you that, look at that. Full bodied. So I'll put a banner across here. I'm gonna do it professional. I've done it in the woods and I was like, ah, is that good enough to really showcase these wines and what they're offering? And it wasn't, so this is it. Professional job. These are all the details, and again, it's www.wine52, that's the number five and two, dot com forward slash Hayes, in capitals, H-A-Z-E, to claim your free case of wine. Drink responsibly, and thank you. Rustic crackers with sesame seeds, cheese and onion peanuts, yes please nuts. D's nut. Right, go check them out. I'll leave a link below and let's get back to woods. That noise, that glug. Oh, yeah, have a bit more because it's because I'm on holiday. I'm up north. I'm in a northern woodland and I couldn't be happier. So, oh, very full bodied. I'm getting dark fruits. I'm getting leather gloves. <laughs> oh. Is that right? Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's delicious. I like my full bodied white. Is it? We, look, you stuck with me through beer reviews, chatting about different IPAs and that, so come on. We're doing a little bit of a wine review. I'm going for plum, dark fruit, leathery, smoky, like tobacco y, rich tannins, like plum. Plum skin, the skin of a plum when it's like, I'm chinning this, I'll be, right, slow down. I've got to do some cooking. Let's have a look and see. A stunning representation of Hungarian winemaking. I concur. What's the vitals on it though? Is it stirring my bonds? 13.5, so that is a bonds burglar, in it? The wine has a deep ruby colour with aromas of dark cherries, blackberries and cassis accompanied by notes of vanilla, leather, and baking spices. Didn't get the baking spices, got the leather, and I'm saying I got dark cherries because a plum is a little bit of a bigger cherry in it if you think about it, if you don't think about it too hard. So yeah, I'll leave a link below, so if you want to get yourself uh, three bottles of wine from whatever region they're exploring that month for just the price of the post and packaging, get on it. I'm letting my fire die down. And then I'm going to prepare my food. What are you having? Good question. What am I having? Let me show you. Look at these, man. Porcinis. Seps. Solid. Got some hedgehog mushrooms. <laughs> one, one chanterelle. I went foraging early this morning to get them mushrooms. Regarde. It's been uh, chewed a little bit, but that is a beautiful little set, perfect for eating. I'll clean her up and put it in the bag. Let's 
so dense man so heavy perfect Let's see if we can find some more a lovely amethyst deceiver I found a little flush of them so we'll tidy them up and they'll go in the bag I also found another little sep that'll tidy up and that'll go in the bag as well A tiny chanterelle that's been chewed to bits. Not worth keeping, but it's a good sign. I've seen what I believe is some hedgehog mushrooms, and there's also a sep in there as well, but that is gonna be tough to get. There's barbed wire, and this is all holly. I'm going in. There you go, I managed to get the sep out. That is a stunner, look at that, chunky boy. And I'm going to crawl in. I'm just going to get prickled and cut. It doesn't matter because it's worth it. Okay, I'm going for it up at barbed wire. I can't even get... Can I get under it, maybe? No. Ow, ow. <laughs> oh, pain is only temporary, isn't it? Right on nut. There I go. Just have to bleep out all swearing. <laughs> I'm in, sort of in, sort of things you do for a shroom. Worth it. Can confirm worth it. Oh, holly to bonds. I'm not living here now, do I? Look at this. Well, if I can get out. <sighs> Too big to get fruit gap. Get that one out. Okay. Shame on you. For those that want me to stack it. I thought we were mates. I've got to clear them up somewhere where there's less flies. A hedgehog mushroom. Very good eating. I think I've got enough for what I need. Nice variety. <laughs> yes, mate. Right, I'm going to clean these up and get them in the bag. Why is there so many flies? You can tell they're hedgehog mushrooms because they've got the spines on them instead of the gills. You see here, there's like... <sighs> these spines, but... You can eat them, perfectly edible and nutritious or delicious. Because I want to cook them up, they do, they can make a bit of a mess of your dish and they certainly get all over your foraging bag. So they cover all your other mushrooms in spines. So I just spend a bit of time, just get the majority of them off. But as I say, I would eat them. You could always, as well at home, just take them all off and cook them up separately. It's like a little like uh, mushroom rice almost <sighs> size of that whopper it's a bit too far gone stalks hollow whopper and there we go so i've brought them back here and i've got myself uh <laughs> i think it's a pork tomahawk tomahawk right i'll keep slurping this delightful beverage but i'll get my pan on and let's cook some food I've missed this mate, I've missed cooking it woods. So what I'll do is, I'll leave that like that, don't fall over boy, there you go. Just to render the fat down as my pork cooks. Oh my god, stunner. Hedgehog mushroom, one of my favourites. These, which look like they shouldn't be edible, but they are. One chanterelle, that's going in whole. That's a lot of shrooms, isn't it? That's a lot of mushrooms. Just carry on slowly rendering that fat down. If ever you think, or if ever a recipe says one clove or two cloves, they're just lying. They, they mean just one bulb, because for me, you can't have enough garlic, mate. It's the best. I'll just get the lion's share of the skins off. I'm not too precious. That's a lot of garlic, in it. It's too much, is it? Not for me. I like a lot of it. This is woodland cooking, and if you can't be rough and rustic in woods, where can you be? Things need to be a bit charred and a bit rough around edges when you're in woods. 
sometimes the leather glove just doesn't cut it so I use one of these over the handle look at that man look at that just crisping up the fat on the outside and that's about done so I want to think about getting my shrooms in will that fit on there it's going to have to there you go look pork tomahawk it's got lemon and garlic and spices and all sorts it's been marinated in look at that man immediately they've just sucked up all that fat from the pork chop and then we'll sweat them out until they release their moisture and then I'll get in with the garlic finish it off that is unbelievable man it smells so good hit that with a knob of butter oh. then in with the garlic loads of garlic I don't care <laughs> all the liquid that's, that the mushrooms have released and so you want to cook them until that liquid evaporates and then they're, they're good to go the smell is just beautiful there you go they're done I should lay the lay the pork chop on top just to warm through and that's the job done look at it just look at it you can't look at it because there you are see look at that man this is it, this is good times, that smells so good. Right, where's my eating irons? There's not many things that bring me as much pleasure as just slowly walking through a woodland looking for mushrooms and finding mushrooms. It's top tier life stuff. Look at that mate, look at it, look at it. <laughs> oh, it's so meaty and delicious. Mm. No. Let's try a bit of this pork. Look at it. Oh, come on, lighting issues. I'll do this for a bit, and then I've got to I'm just go and enjoy it because this isn't—it's not on, is it? The fat is beautifully rendered. Oh, it's melt. Oh my god. Mm. One of the best meals I've cooked in woods. I've said that a lot, but it's so simple, but so delicious. Goes perfectly well with this rouge. I know I've been doing a lot of hiking and stuff of late, so I've not been doing much bushcraft or bushcraft videos, and there's probably people who who watch that haven't even seen me do bushcraft because I've just been hiking so much so welcome I basically just I basically just struggle with focusing issues and have a drink in woods mm. and I love it and I do get people saying oh I prefer it when you do the bushcraft stuff oh. But then, you get people saying I prefer it when you do the hiking stuff. You can't win. You can't please all the people all of the time. So I think what I've got to do is just please myself. And then, if you're into it, you're into it. If not, at least, at least I can keep my sanity, can't I? Stay happy. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I'm going to get this light out of my eyes. And really enjoy it. So I'll talk. In fact, let's pour another. Have another little glug, and that'll be me. I've maybe done half a bottle. To you guys, I just want to say thanks. I can't reply to all the comments and, and everything, but I do see a lot of them, and I appreciate it. And uh, I'll just take this moment, as I'm just about to demolish this dinner, to say thank you to anyone who's liked a video or commented or just watched it or you know and had and got and gained something from it or let or, or whether it's just whether it's to do with your gear or 
whether it's just a little bit of distraction from from life and uh, I appreciate it and I appreciate you watching so this is for you salute absent friends perfect Morning glampers. I slept so well. I was out like a light. I mean, it was a late night, a couple of glasses of wine, bosh. Give you a quick run through. Some slightly new clobber. The Gossamer gear, I'll tell you what, zero condensate. Is that a tick? No. I ended up pulling a couple of ticks off me as well yesterday <clears throat> after being out in my mushroom zone. So I'll have to have a keep, keep an eye on that. So, didn't bring me hiking pole, so I just used Bits of timber from woods. Still works just the same. So after talking about it and a few people mentioning it, I've gone for a quilt look by the legends over at Big Agnes and it is the Fusel Ultralight. And I was warm in it. I mean, I did wear my down pants and had a merino wool layer on as well, but I was finding that just my foam mat I didn't want to risk having uber light airbed on this stuff in case it popped. And then Trekology pillow. And what I like to do is just put me my little scarf thing over it. Just feels better on my skin there. So yeah, I like that. But I mean, I'm going to use it on some backpacking adventures and see, see how it goes. Is a burn, good lad. They want much of a breeze, but I guess it comes down to temperature as well. There's a lot of factors, isn't there? Condensation factors. I want to go for a swim because smoky firewood being in like out in woods just screams wild swim just to wash it all away right let's go and suck the bloke it doesn't look very deep yeah i've been here before but it was frozen over last time so i couldn't get in it just doesn't look very deep it looks quite boggy and sinky but i'll check it out oh. it's really boggy Kinda of smells a bit. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Get it, Swede under. Whew. I'm pretty homeless at the moment up when I'm up north, so it's good to have a wash. <laughs> I guess. This is me having this is me at bath. It's good to get all um all stones. It's like it's good to get all bog or all, all smoke off you. That was a beaut ah, my leg. Hey up. This lad. Oh, stay, hold. Young Kermit. Frognaregis. We're getting back. Snip water. Fly my beauty. That was a beautiful couple of days. Just what the doctor ordered. Ambling around woods, gathering mushrooms, going to the woods, cooking them up. A little glug of wine. I've still got half a bottle left. And then a wild swim to end it. It was just, just what I needed. Perfect. And it's just simple, isn't it? The simple things in life. Do, if you like your wines, please do check out the link below. I'll leave it below. And if you use my code, you get three bottles for... You just pay the post and packaging and you'll get three bottles. Also, if a lot of you do it, then they'll, uh, they'll see that it works and they might send me some more wine. 
but uh, if you know, <laughs> there's your there's your reason. So thanks again to to everyone who watches. Thanks for engaging, just hitting that like button and leaving a comment and stuff. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you're all well and still fighting the good fight. Take care of yourselves. Namaste out of trouble. Goodbye. It's not even, oh, it's boggy. See you later. Nah, it's not. Come on. We're still doing this, aren't we? Of course we are. I'm not even going that way. <laughs> I'm going this way. Love you, bye.